guys! Welcome back to the channel. I have binibining Nicole Cordovez, ang tunay na Reina. Ito na talaga. Push na push na natin to dahil um, sabi nyo nga kailangan merong mga bigating pangalang sa channel ko. At ito na isa mga bigatin. Hi Nicole, how are you? Bigatin. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> ako gaganyak. Sila ka ng arms ko. Hi! So, naglipa channel naman tayo this time around because last time, sila yung nag-guest sa channel ko. Binash ka ba dun? <laughs> Binash ka ba dun ng todo-todo? Yeah. Yeah. Bad attitude, eh. <laughs> hindi, ka ba, hindi ka ba ni Nervios? Ay, itong... <laughs> Ay, wala. Wala nang tanggalan yun. Ang ganda ng hair mo ngayon, Nicole. Like, Bakit? Ba't ko siya gusto? Today, kasi I had a meeting a while ago as well. So I was like, okay, masusudit yung effort. Pero umulan, so naging humid, so ganito na siya. Bakit ganyan yung ina-achieve ko? Parang hindi naman nangyari. Parang kumulot lang siya in places na hindi dapat siya kumulot. <laughs> I won't even ask you to expand on that. Okay. Oh, sige, come on. Pakikita mo ba to? Yung Usap namin yung... Ombre. Ombre. <laughs> Ombre, pero tatlong colors. Oo, oh, oh, sobra. Ay, hindi. Color blocking. Color blocking. Yeah. Well, let's take it to another level. Good. So, punta mo na tayo sa Binibining Pilipinas. And everybody knows naman na na-push ka sa Binibining Pilipinas because of your lola. Because of um, yung kagustuhan niya na mag-pageantry, pageantry ka. Which I find really very unusual. Super unusual. No, actually, diba? baguhin mo nga spill mo sa Miss Chinatown yun. <laughs> Ay, yun na nga. Pero napush ka kasi, kasi magbinibini. Ayaw ka na niya ako sumali, diba? Ay, oo pala. Ayaw ka na niya sumali. Pero kasi bakit? Baka, Nanalo ka naman. Ano, baka iba daw yung kalakaran, diba? Kasi I think yun naman yung fear lagi ng mga tao sa pageantry. Na you don't really know yung magiging result. Tapos syempre the stakes are higher pagkakapamilya mo. So, para mas takot ka na hala, wala naman tayong mga connection. Eh, syempre, may times na makakasabayan mo sa batch mo, mga artista. For example, di ba? Yung mga semi-artista na. So, kilala na sila. Tapos, uh, yung mga iba talagang really well of families. From really good families na matunog yung surname. So, hindi mo maiwasan na kabahan din. So, yung lola ko was like, you know what, you're such a small family and conservative and huwag na lang siguro, baka matalo ka pa. Di ba? Ang confident niya sa akin eh. <laughs> Pero, yun na nga yung unusual dun eh. Kasi sobrang ang confident yun ng Miss Chinatown. Is it because medyo mas maliit na community kasi si Miss Chinatown na medyo kontrolado? Feeling ko, kasi syempre binibining Pilipinas is the... Binibining Pilipinas. Parang, it's been there for how long na? More than 50 years, di ba? And, parang yun na yung final stepping stone if gusto mo talaga mag-pageant queen. So, parang, yun na yun eh. So, you don't really know what to expect. Especially if you're not really exposed to these things. Like, wala kaming former beauty queen sa pamilya namin, di ba? Kasi, for wow. example, si Maxine Medina, di ba? She uh -oh. had... Family. May, may ano siya eh, meron, sa lineage niya. So, mm -hmm. royal blood talaga siya. <laughs> Royalty. Siya so, oh, Commoner ka. Commoner who oh, goes to the top. Ako, mga ganon. Ako, man lang, ganon. Ah, kairit. <laughs> well, ito Pero... na, alala ko tayo, Riri. <laughs> Kaya nga, eh, eto na tayo. So, pagdating mo dun ngayon sa Binibining Pilipinas, um, may sumagi ba sa isip mo na parang wait muna, magmi-miss Earth muna ako or magmi-miss World muna ako? Kasi di ba usually, bago ka magbinibini, medyo mag-iisip ka muna o talagang push na push ka nang magbinibini? Actually, I wanted Miss World. <gasps> Bubuhayin mo Miss ang mga gusto nila. Yeah, I, kasi may Oxford debate sila about Ay, does it uh, send the right message? Is it still relevant? Diba? The cycle shocks. You're gonna go to Oxford. This mag debate kayo. I feel like it's the, it's the yung prime na pageant talaga siya. Na hindi lang ito yung ganda ganda ka lang. Kasi there was a time, nung time na yon before yung mga advocacies na feeling ko na uso na napauso na ni Pia because of her HIV um, awareness na advocacy. And mm -hmm. before nung before pa nun, parang hindi talaga kailangan super na highlight yung advocacy mo pagka candidate. Yes. Uh -oh. Diba? And then, uh -oh. kung meron ka, better. 
Pero uh-huh. ngayon kasi, it feels like it's required. Parang kulang ka, hindi ka prepared pag wala ka advocacy. So, nung time na yun, I was like, this is on another level na pageantry. Kaya yun yung gusto ko sabihan. Kaso lang, in-advise ako ng camp ko noon na, no, binibining material ka. Ay, so, sarap Pero yan. never ko nakita yung Miss World as like, Miss World muna, tapos binibini. I saw it as the end all be all then. Kasi, I don't wanna, yun nga, ayoko mag-join ng pageant just because, di ba? Tapos nung time na yun pa, ay, nag-digress ako kanina. Nung time na yun kasi, yung digress. Yun, parang talagang, sorry, parang <laughs> talagang personality. I mean, look at Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Ganun, na nakita ko pagka sa Miss World, talagang tsuktsakan. So, syempre gusto ko tsuktsakan. Doon ako. Eh, yun nga eh, di ba? Sinasabi nila ngayon na syempre ang Miss Universe ngayon tsuktsakan na. Tapos, oh, yun, oh, oh, sobra. Oh, so, maraming masama ang loob. Bakit hindi ka pa rin sumasali? Bakit, bakit hindi pa umulit? Once and for all, pakisabi na nga sila, ano bang rason mo? Bakit ba ayaw mo sumali? Uh, <laughs> ulit, ulit, eh. Kasi ayo ko. Kasi ayo mo. Kasi ayo ko. Uh, um Paano ba? Eh, sorry, ah, nag-iisip ako ngayon kasi parang I usually go for the summarized versions of my answer uh-huh. and kasi syempre friends tayo. Alam mo, na chika ko na sa iyo lahat. Yes. So, parang, okay, where do I start? Ha. Huh. Uh, kasi syempre I think you need to realize then na pagka talika sa isang organisasyon, to the Miss Universe, Miss World, or kung ano mang pageant yan, binibini, para you have to obey their rules. You have to act according to their mission, their vision for their organization. You can't just do whatever you like. So, mm-hmm. tas ang daming paalam process. It's a long Ay, process. paalam process. <laughs> So, nakita ko yung magiging limitation mo rin as a beauty queen. Pero it, I needed that before. Kasi who was I before, di ba? Mm-hmm. Para, ano, I was a government employee, di ba? Or corporate girl ako. So, wala akong platform tulad na ngayon. And then, now that I do have this platform, parang, okay, bakit ako babalik doon? Na mar- may Yon. restraint na naman. Uh-huh. So, yun yung technical side na... Uh, feeling ko hindi nakikita ng mga tao. Kasi feeling yes. nila, wow! Ay, hindi. Actually, walk na ngayon yung mga fans. Pageant fans, mm-hmm. I'm so proud of you. Kasi nakikita na nila eh. Nakikita nila na, you know what? Organizations can do more. The situation in our world calls for more. So, nakikita na nila na kulang. So, di ba, I think na-frustrate din maraming tao, di ba, nung <laughs> mga reigns ng previous queens din natin. Yeah. Kasi there's still certain SOP and protocol to follow. And nasa iyo yung sash na yun eh, na kung anong title mo man. So you're representing the organization more than yourself as well. So yun yung major restricting kasi for me. And then yun nga, feeling ko kasi, uh, I don't wanna, in, sim- in simple terms, I don't wanna get a crown just so masabi kung I have two crowns in my closet, di ba? Parang feeling ko lang it's such a selfish move on my end. Diba? Na I can't really do things. Ito na yung DNA ko as a person. Na I can't do things without a greater purpose. Na just so manalo. It's not me. Hindi ako competitive na tao rin. <laughs> feeling ko. Nee, tsaka siguro yun nga. Iba na rin din so, yung direction mo. Diba? Siguro competitive ako ganun sa mga debate. Kung, Pero hindi na ako pagka yung mga <laughs> ano, crown crown. I don't know. Diba, Ali, Nicole? Nakuha mo naman isa sa mga pinakamalalaking crown. Yes. Pinya ka. Pinya ka. Ito yung yeah, crown. Yan. Pinya ka. Pinya. How do you feel about the crown nung naipasok sa'yo? Natatawa ka ba dun? O parang novelty na lang sa'yo? The Miss Grand International, ah, uh, Miss Grand Philippines crown? Yes, yung that, that big crown. Speaking of that crown, nami-miss mo ba siya? Gusto mo ba siya makita ulit ngayon? Not really, kasi it was really heavy and kinailangan namin suotin yun sa mga events. Eh, yung oh. maraming events namin, yun was PLDT na motorcade. Siya ganun, ganun kami. Every weekend, <laughs> di ba? Siyempre, kumikitang pangkabuhayan tayo. Kailangan kabig-kabig din. Kung anong inutos ang binibinigo. Sige. So, ang init-init. Ang init. 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 
Tapos, ah, sakit niya dito. Sobrang bigat na yung nerves ko pati dito. Parang feel ko nakagunan na ako the whole time. So, <laughs> pwede ka na pumatay ng tao. Guys. It's not a joke. <laughs> like, it's really heavy. The crown is heavy. Hindi ba masyadong like, nung naisip mo na nakuha mo yung crown na yun? Kasi kami, kami na fans. <laughs> Kung kami yung lalaban, yun yung crown na ayaw namin. Not because ayaw namin lumaban sa Miss Granda. Yung literal na ayaw namin. Kasi na sobrang laki na ang ridiculous na niya. Tapos yeah, may nakuha so, mo. so sparkly on stage. I don't know. Hindi <laughs> yun nga. Ito hindi ka pa sobrang pageant girl. Tapos nakuha mo pa yung pinakamalaking crown. Tapos parang funny lang na binigay talaga sa yun. Yeah, I wish nga parang... Kasi, kasi narinig ko yung story ni Angelia din on yung hmm. Miss Earth Crown and how it's like one um, element ba or something? Yes, ano, yung mga stone stones from nila uh, from every country. Oo. Yeah, ang ganda lang na story. So sana hmm. someday magkaroon ng ganun din yung binibini. Although kasi eh, kahit, aminin, kahit na hindi naman ganun kakaganda ng crown namin, coveted siya. Most coveted crown. Oo naman. In the world pa nga yan, isa sa mga um, inaabangan. Eh. At speaking yes. of sana magkaganda ng binibini, tapusin mo na nga tong speculation na to. Nakakaloka. Bakit nga ba daw, tinanong ito ni someone, someone, bakit ba pageantry redefined? Paulit-ulit, hindi ko nalam anong isasagot ko. Meron na ba tayong... Um, official spin kung ano yung mga roles ninyo dahil kailan lang naglabas kayo ng photo ni Kat kasi gusto nila ikaw na mag-take over <laughs> naglabas ng photo na yun yes we shot that kasi um, like a week or two before quarantine if you saw mm-hmm. our IG stories with BJ Pascual yun yun yes of course yeah. <laughs> Naka, nakabantay naman tayo di ba yes so uh, nadelay yun ang nadelay And then, I thought wala na announcement at all kasi wala pa namang date for that. And I think it's the last thing on everyone's minds din na magpapageant yes. soon, di ba? Para pa- di, di rin. Hinahanap din ng mga tao. Kaloka. Tapos, yeah. So, definitely not national directors, guys. Um, Why? I appreciate I, me and Kat. Natutuwa kami na you're... Para you see the potential in us, you and trust that we do have that capability to be national directors. Pero I really appreciate the presence of Madam Stella there. Uh, she's an institution, and parang iba kasi yung nanjan siya. Tapos iba yung alaga niya sa girls. Kahit na strict man siya, okay? it's because you're under their you're under their care. So they have to be really careful with you. They need to make sure na ano ka talaga. Kaya bawal din yung mga pasaway din na binibinis na masakit sa ulo. Kasi you're not gonna... Hindi kayo magiging okay ng organization to work together. Kasi... Mm-hmm. No, seriously. Kasi syempre may mga... Mas ano na ngayon compared to before. Siguro mas strict pa nga si Madam before eh. Pero ngayon kasi, alam mas naging liberated na rin sila sa... Sa pag, how they make alaga the girls. Pero... Yeah, it, it's all like yung ngayon templado na siya. And given nga na hindi na super active si Madam, 'di ba? Pero pagka masyado ka ring pa rebelde, parang ikaw na rin naman yung wala sa lugar. 'Di ba? Kasi you signed up with the organization and hindi naman sila minsan siguro medyo feeling natin unreasonable, pero it's just like our relationship then with your parents, 'di ba? Yeah, na they, they, parang maganda naman intention nila. Uh-uh. So, meron na kasi talagang girls na talagang palaban, sobra, na akala mo, sobrang... Bad so, attitude ba? Yung pinapagawa, <laughs> diba? Na, Bad attitude. Pagpigyan na natin. Anyway, well, like yung pagka-ND kasi ni Madam, parang, alam mo yun, feel, I really do feel safe na siya yung nag-lead ng organization. Kaya confident ako nung nasasali ako nun sa Binibini. Kasi there are, syempre, a lot of uh, mga nakaka... Yung mga issues from before, like uh-huh. pageantry history, na parang, hala, yung mga myths na yun, coming from an outsider, di ba? Na paano yung kung lapitan ka ni ganito, ni ganyan, o oh. fairan ka na ganyan, ano gagawin mo? So, with under, ano, the, under the wing of madam, feeling ko we're so protected. Okay, yeah, so and yeah, so thank you so much to everyone. Na nika sabi niya, and di na sila. Yay, hey, bago na. Kami nagbabalak na maging national director. Hindi kami, uh, hindi kami nagambition din noon. 
Sigur, I, and I think that it's something na that will only be earned through time. And uh-huh. we need to do other things then first before. Because feeling ko Kat and I are so involved, paren, right now, do I? It's still so fresh. Pero through time, pa if ever na ibigay, ma earn ganon. Pero hindi kami na hindi kami undercurrent for that. Well, I guess because um, di ba ngayon may trend na kasi. So parang hindi rin natin ma iiwasan na you know they think na kayo na yung next in line. Kasi may trend ngayon na a lot of the younger beauty queens are now taking over, hindi lang naman sa Philippine setting, pati internationally, nagiging yes. national directors na rin sila. So, <laughs> siguro, al- well, alam din naman natin yung history with the Aranetas, um, kung sino yung yeah. possible nilang next in line, medyo, medyo vague pa, kaya Best siguro, yeah. uh-oh. so, nung, nag- nung nakita nila kayo, and siguro nung medyo, um cryptic din yung mga sinasabi ninyo sa mga captions na isip nila na baka <laughs> kaya ako ang dami namin na kuhang messages ang funny pa ng iba it will be pretty straightforward nung mm. release yun like uh, pero nagulat kami na nag-progress to ND kaya <laughs> like, hindi namin ina-expect na people actually consider us di ba as an idea of hindi talaga siguro kasi parang wala nga talaga sa intention namin Alam mo yun? Parang wala. Pero now na naririnig nyo, ibig sabihin, may clamor. <laughs> I mean, I mean kung, mag, kung you know, mag-try silang mag-invite um, ng young blood, so siguro, it would And really make sense. And you know, kasi how closed off Binibini is. Yun na nga. Like kung sino yung so, exicom nila from kung anong year. Forever. Yung pari, no? Oo. Oh, tapos, hindi pa pinapakalap. Hindi talaga pinapakala. sila mapa-involve. Yung tipong kung sino yung nag-workshop, nagpapa-workshop sa kanila, kailangan sobrang, parang kamag-anak ni ganito-ganyan na taga-exectom. Yung ganon. So, hindi sila basta-basta nagpapahawak ng girls. Kaya we're so excited na this year, we're gonna play a bigger part in Binibining Pilipinas. Nagulat din ako. So, <laughs> and I guess they have to, ano rin naman kasi, they have to evolve. Alam ko yung evolution ng Binibini, medyo mas mabagal, um, mm-hmm. but at least steady. So ngayon, yes. if it, we're opening up to you guys um, and your roles in Binibini, well, definitely, para naman talaga yun sa improvement. Medyo mabagal lang, pero mm-hmm. push naman. Push naman yeah. Ka. The tug of war between the traditional and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pero so, at least, na appreciate din yung alam mo yon yung may foundation tayo of the traditional mm. as well kasi if you go too much with the current din naman Sobra. you Uh-oh. end up listening to every suggestion de ba so, parang wala well, no, wala rin yung identity mo parang ganun din naman yung danger so yeah may tug of war pa rin pero na appreciate ko pa rin yung classics yung classics <laughs> hindi pero gusto ko yung ganun eh kasi Diba, um, ang criticism sa Bini Bini, they're so old school. Pero, mm-hmm. personally, mas gusto ko na yun. Kasi yun nga, sabi mo, may foundation. So, i-bend mo man ng konti, hindi mawawala yung moral standing nila, hindi mawawala yeah. yung moral compass. And that's actually one of the pinaka-anchor ko why I decided to join Bini Bini on my own volition against the will of my family then. Kasi sabi ko, you know, Binibini is a respectable pageant. It is conservative in itself. You know, yes. di ba parang, Uh-oh. alam mo, mapapaglaban ko siya eh, na alam kong secure yon. Hindi ko iisipin na ano plan B ko pagka ito nangyari sa akin. So, et, et, ito personal, ano ko lang, uh, that was my personal uh, considerations ng decision making ko. Well, maganda rin na na-open up mo siya because I don't know if you're aware but um, hindi kasi na-pick up masyado ng media noon but media is picking it up now. Um, mm-hmm. One of the former contestants, Janina San Miguel, who eventually won Miss World Philippines back in the day, uh, alam naman natin kung saan siya infamous but um, she recently had herself interviewed for I watched CMA that docu- documentary. Oo, uh-huh. so napanood natin. After nung documentary yun, nag-simmer down so hindi masyado na pag-usapan but she's in the news ngayon um, wow, kasi yeah. nagsasalita na siya um, against Binibini against what happened to her ano yung take mo dun? I mean, I understand na pag lumipas na yung panahon pwede ka nang magsalita you know, just like what you're doing now pwede ka nang magchika-chika but yeah. did you think it was unfair or did you think na talagang may pinundaanan si Janina? Anong take mo dun sa um 
you know, being very public now. Huh, I think uh, we cannot discount her experience, di ba? Kasi regardless of whether it's fair or not fair, uh, it happened to her. Okay. That's something you cannot disregard. Uh, nakikita ko naman where she's coming from. And considering that she was 17, di ba, that time? She was 17, uh-oh. She was 17, she was so young. So I can only imagine then Madam Araneta to be like extra careful. <laughs> Yun na nga eh. Yun din ang ano ko dun eh, uh-oh. Kasi uh-oh. palaki ako na auntie ko eh. So naiintindihan ko yung yung struggle na gusto mong may gawin, magsalita, pero sobrang, dahil ingat na ingat sila sa mama ko, dahil hindi naman ako galing sa kanila, sa mama ko naman sila mag-answer. Siguro yeah. ganun din yung kay Janina, no? Oo. Uh, yeah. We, parang feeling ko, there's still so much to be told, actually. Uh, may mm-hmm. anda, na, while watching the documentary, na feel ko na ang dami pong follow-up questions na pwede, mm-hmm. pero hindi na itanong, di ba? hindi na isama. Uh, to be honest, I I believe that nung yung situation na sinabi niya, diba, I read from the article, kasi syempre, they kind of just extracted it from the documentary. May kita mo, she said na there, were, there was an offer to make her a girlfriend. Yes. Uh, and then afterwards, she goes on to say na Binibini was so strict. Diba? Oh, so, okay. it's a contrast Uh-oh. in itself. May kita mo na bantay sarado naman si Binibini. And... Uh-oh. And honestly, parang there will be indecent proposals. I, although I would say that I've never gotten one. I believe that times have changed. Why? <laughs> I feel like <laughs> because when uh, men approach me, uh, they would see that, you know, alam mo yun, barrier na. Like, Pero, di, kasi ngayon nababasa natin um, yung mga comments ng netizens um, of course everybody will be pro Binibini kasi parang ang feeling nila parang it was an attack on Binibini but now no, that we're reading man. about no naman no? no Hindi naman. naman I think she told mm-hmm. two sides of the story uh, and that those years I feel like notorious yung ganong nangyayari and Mm-mm. to continue what I was saying kanina it's a different era now kasi the girls Sabra. Who join? A lot of us um, are capable. Alam mo yon yung may jobs kami. <laughs> uh, meron kami. We come from good families as well. Yung well, yung well off kung baga yun tipong provide yung kailangan namin. So parang tapos we can't deny that there will be girls na like I said kanina na na kilala pa yung pamilya, na powerful ang family. So, I think those people na nag indecent proposals, they would really think twice or thrice because they might be the daughter of your kabarkada or <laughs> Weird. Diba? <laughs> Oo. Hindi, tsaka, alam mo, sobra. Um, and people talk, ha? These women now, they talk, ha? I mean, they, they really talk. utilize they social media. Social media. have to be, you structure before <laughs> so, the power, diba? Uh-oh. So, women, before you need to know someone powerful to get a voice, to parang yes. maniwala sa yo, kaya nobody is speaking out. Ngayon, I'll post you. I swear, I'll post you. Lagot ka I'll talaga. I'll make the wrong move. <laughs> yeah, and then there are all these campaigns. Then so lagot ka talaga. <laughs> so feeling ko every like those people are more careful about it. Speaking of posting, Nicole. Um, and taas ng expectations ng mga tao ngayon especially kasi trinay natin baguhin yung narrative ng beauty pageant na we're not we're not kasama ko nilan tayo like pretty <laughs> faces <laughs> sexy hindi kasi di ba syempre nakakahon ng beauty queen noon kailangan sexy mm-hmm. matangkad fast value body lahat na pero ngayon sobrang binabago natin na parang we're relevant we have voices we can speak up we're educated we're well traveled we can do this we can do that so walk us through itong social media because it's so easy for the beauty queens to use social media for their own gains and another thing is that uh, alam ko, Kat and Pia are in hot water right now because they had um, several statements. Um, would you advise um, girls to be more vocal sa mga posts nila? Or would you advise them na kung hindi kayo masyadong kilala sa ganon, medyo mag-pullback kayo? Anong, anong middle ground when it comes to 
posting and um, being very, very involved pagdating sa mga social issues. Okay, I don't have a right or wrong answer for this because you can't really be so black and white with this issue. Because, for example, kahit the encourage ng organization na girls you have to post about Black Lives Matter, for example, hindi mo makokontrol lahat na sinasabi ng girls de, eh. di ba? Because we have different experiences, we know the hullabaloo that happened last time, so you wouldn't know like what they would actually say so uh and then if you control too much on what they say naman it's not them anymore then you're just uh-uh. parang you're merely releasing propaganda then, as an organization uh-uh. so uh i'll open this up as a discussion lang ah, sa mga pageant fans out there parang inputs ko lang pero i also don't have the right answer for this because once again kailangan timplado din ng girl and it's a skill na hindi talaga maa-acquire overnight Uh-huh. Uh, maybe uh-huh. not even with a few sessions. Uh, let's be more, uh, siguro forgiving sa mga girls. Uh, okay, so let's start with. Hindi <laughs> tapo. Gusto ko marinig yan. Ano ba yung ano uh, middle ground? Number one, you're co- you have to consider that these girls are still under an organization. Uh-huh. And before speaking out about something, uh, you have they have to consider the organization first. And lalo na kung walang initiative or directive your organization to post about it, parang maybe it's a sign na hindi ka encouraged to do so or maybe even oh. discouraged ka to do so. Play it by ear. Oo, okay. Sige. Tama. Oo. Yun lang yung iniisip ko if I put myself in their shoes. Ha? Kasi feeling ko mm. nung time ko medyo golden years ng Philippines. Eh. <laughs> Alam mo yun, yung mal- medyo... Hindi pa ganito na sunod-sunod yung issues. Oo, diba? oh, sunod-sunod kasi parang, yung issue natin ngayon eh. Uh, so, kailangan nila mag-speak up. Sobra. Uh, mm-hmm. Sobrang involved tayo. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, on sa ganong paraan, feeling ko, the girls may not speak about it. Like, for example, super political. ba diba? Kung too political talaga, as in, guys, gets yun na yung grass ng magas niyo na too political na term. Um, kasi feeling ko si Catriona and Pia, they have real influence already. Uh-huh. Like, they're Miss Universe. So, and they were asked questions about, ano, li- ma- legalizing marijuana, VFA. Very relevant. Okay. VFA. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm-hmm. Yun yung... Mm-hmm question niya Miss Universe eh. Uh-uh. So, I do think that they have the right, hindi, they have, we all have the right, pero more of, mas obligado sila, feel ko. To mas obligado something. silang to say uh-uh. something. Kasi you're uh-uh. given that, the highest position there. Uh-uh. ba? Diba? So, and they really did use their influence uh-uh. for good. And, nakakaloka nga kasi ang dami nagasabi na, Di ba yan ang takot na mawala na endorsement? Yes! Uh-oh. Di ba? Which is, Uh-oh. di ba dapat lalo natin sila ma-appreciate? Kasi kahit na may, may ano na yun eh, may fact na, na paano kung mawala nga sa endorsement or tanggalin sila sa whatever na position, they still do it. Because they're not doing it for themselves. They're not doing it para, ay ako si Kat and I'm a relevant queen. Hindi ganun eh. They're really fighting for their countrymen. Uh-uh. And best believe that may kita nga rin natin sa tweet ni Pia, di ba, na, na she really had to mull it over. Hindi siya yung biglaan nag-tweet. Eh. Biglaan nag uh-uh. She was like, it struggled din siya personally. Uh-uh. Di ba, na do I, sh- should I say something about it? This is the right time, di ba? Do I have the strength to face yung mga trolls? <laughs> yung, yung backlash. Kasi we'll never Ready know. Ready na ba ako? We're really a divided country right now, to quote Rachel Peters. <laughs> so, diba? yeah, they do have that platform, na, and I feel they're more obligated as candidates. If you don't feel, if you don't feel like you're super, um, like you, like meron talaga ng tatag sa heart mo, alam mo yon. Kasi hindi po ding, don't post something just because you're you wanna be part of the bandwagon. It should come from a genuine place. True. You can still channel your efforts elsewhere. So make an active decision that if you feel like you lack in something, you make it up for something else. 
Uh-uh. Diba? Like, for example, hindi sila makapag-post siguro na mass testing now. <laughs> na siguro uh-uh. na lahat. Uh-uh. Pero, ano, may kita mo na they're delivering goods. Diba? Sa mga hospitals. Diba? Yun yung sinasabi ko, balabalanse. Balabalanse. Pero, uh-uh. dun, dun talaga matetest yung uh, kung queen ka talaga, if I can say it like that, na you feeling mo may moral obligation ka talaga to do something. And you have, para, okay, hindi ko to magawa. So, I have an obligation to be creative na lang in giving back or paying it forward. Yeah. Yun. Although, ako naman, like, uh, parang, sa Twitter ako nagkakalat, sorry. Sini ko daw ay nagkakalat sa Twitter. Mabuti na lang wala akong Twitter. <laughs> sa Twitter. <laughs> Um, or sa IG stories doon. So, it's a matter of how you say it, when you say it then. It's really something very, very complicated. Sobra. Yeah. Uh-oh. Diba? Yeah. You can push Uh-oh. someone to, to say something din naman. Diba? Kasi para you would want it also to come from their heart. Na, kasi right now, if you're gonna say junk terror bill talaga, and uh, Uh, Black Lives Matter, for example, you're now part of the movement, really. It's ongoing. So, hindi siya yung tipong iha-hashtag mo lang eh. You're involved. Kaya until now, parang, there are times na nag-text pa kami nila, Kat, na I'm still reading yung mga sa Twitter na ano, yung mga updates. <laughs> parang hindi, you can't get out of it. And, Uh-oh. and girls, siguro, just to... Uh, give you some assurance then if you don't feel strongly like like kasi si Kat yes. will ask me like should I post na and I and I will say na if only if you feel strongly na okay kailangan ko talaga tong gawin din ako mapakali Mm-mm. yun so alam mo kung pinosan yan naka ilang decision points na yan si ate girl yun. so girls if you don't feel strongly about it kasi we understand naman your situation then uh, you're still competing Uh, make your make sure you research. Make sure you're filled with information. Na. That's your responsibility. You may not broadcast it on social media, but you're gonna definitely talk to people who need your point of view, who might need information you know that they don't know. So that's the biggest part that you can do. Like really educate yourself, see both sides ng story, see both points of view, anti and pro, para alam lang natin yung ano, you know. Uh, well, yun yung kailangan talaga nilang malaman, kasi alam man nila na parang, syempre with people like you na parang who have built this like career out of like public speaking, out of like being level-headed when it comes to like issues and how to deliver these issues, kailangan magets nila na parang eto yung mga times na accessible ka because syempre hindi naman sa lahat ng oras eh pwedeng tawagan ni Cole tama ba tong ginagawa ko o mm-hmm. nasa right track ba kami but on the other side naman how do you feel about girls who are like so neutral para namang cricket sounds kasi ako minsan na call out ko na yan for not saying anything or not yeah, having any sort of involvement that. <laughs> yeah that's that's how i roll because <laughs> I mean, you're the tita of the family you know? yes uh uh So, there's one thing about being super outspoken. Another one naman, yung mga no, sobrang cricket that time, sounds. No, to be really objective, uh, that time when you posted that, it was during COVID. Mm-hmm. And that was the issue. So, I would understand if it's sil- it's medyo silent now. Because okay. it's really like a really heavy polarizing national issue. Maybe they need more time to research. Pero that time you posted it, it was COVID. Okay. So... And I, I, I really did not see, uh, sigur, how many candidates, diba, per ano. But we needed to see more from them, diba, na post. And I saw your point. I did. And there's a way of sharing information without being so political about it. In terms of, you know, mm-hmm. pertaining to your post, ah. Uh-uh. Because uh-uh. Pagka, if you post that now, pertaining to the... <laughs> Issues with the other things. Ayon, like uh-uh. wait, wait uh-uh. lang. Pero nung time uh-uh. na yun, it was COVID. There was so much information being tossed around. Na hindi to to all. Na assumptions. Uh-huh. Nagaling din sa Viber groups of your parents or whatever. Na na hindi accurate pa yung information. Kasi everyone nangangapapa nun. So 
uh, that time, people really needed to educate them and speak up. And being a, parang papuntahan, papunta ka na sa, na sa path ka na ng pagkaka-beauty uh-huh. queen mo, parang, yun yung perfect time na mag-step up. True. Kasi, naalala ko kasi nung time na yun, parang nang hinayang ako eh. Um, Siyempre, ayaw nila ng mga political Nanghanga. post. Yan, okay na. Okay naman. Um, ayaw nila ng political post. Pero parang nang hinayang ako na, hindi man lang kayo makapagbigay ng... number ng ospital, ng hotline, ng mm. delivery, parang, ba? Diba? Sayang yung opportunity na Kahit sa nakapag-share. Kahit sa wala? Yung iba, yung iba sa kanila talagang wala. <laughs> iba nag-tiktok mm. lang. <laughs> ah, talaga? Hindi uh, na kasi din ako updated. Ayun. So, yeah. so for example noon, like yung nung COVID, hindi ako makapag, kunwari, prepare ng meals for frontliners kasi Mm-mm. good for one lang yung mga, alam mo yon yung mga, mga ano tawag dito, sandok at kawali oh, oh. dito sa bahay. You can so, tell. Ko, oh, pang yeah. one person lang talaga, oh, like, oh, not cute. So, para, what I do is, I donate naman to people I know talaga na nawala ng trabaho. Oh, eh, Wait, nawala yes. ako ng trabaho. Ah, ba't di mo ako dinonatean? <laughs> uh, hindi po. Di yun totoo. Wala <laughs> trabaho, ah! You were still Wala. writing articles for... <laughs> Freelance? Walang ako ayuda sa gobyerno. <laughs> Visit yeah. na yung app yung mga mo pinafill out. Wala akong ayuda. <laughs> Visit. And it's something na I didn't post na rin. So, I don't know. Tapos yung pinaka post ko na lang is if I could if I can be if I'm able to share information like siguro yung so budget nga natin, COVID budget and um my conversation with the doctor and what to expect sa new normal and also students who uh nagumawa ng paraan, 'di ba? So para share na lang ng information at most. So that's just an example of how you can creatively still contribute. Hindi naman kailangan oh, ng man. solution oh, lang. At we need to be really creative during this time. There are so many ways naman din talaga eh. So parang, mm-hmm. ako actually, medyo promeno na rin ako bandang ulit. Kaya sabi ko parang, oo nga, baka naman tahimik lang talaga sila sa social media. Ayaw lang nila masyadong fru-fru. May mga ginagawa naman sila sa mga communities nila. Pero, yun nga. Well, at least, um, that's out of the way. But, Going back to the candidates, going back to those people na sasali pa lang ngayon, um, maganda kasi yung tipo ng example mo, at least medyo balance eh. Social media mo, meron kang social work, meron kang mga beauty stuff, meron kang mga pa-events. Um, for these girls na sasali ngayon, what are the posts that they need to steer clear of? Lalo na dahil sumasali sila ngayon. Oh, like, how would everything. they curate their post, let's say, or like their feed? Kasi iba syempre yung galing sa amin, medyo old school pa nga ako. Pero ikaw na nagkandidata, um, ikaw na sumaling, ngayon na inaayos mo at least yung social media presence mo. Ano yung mga dapat nilang iwasan? Uh, siguro, first of all, girls, uh, read the room. See the overall climate and environment first of the situation, diba, before you post. I think that's a very big consideration, especially now. And then, I always tell my students this, that you need to be clear with your personal branding first before you set up your social media image. Because now, social media is your pre-first impression. It's the first impression before the first impression. Oh. So. Mas malaking bearing in social media. So, upon joining a pageant, syempre, you're already responsible na dapat nagawa mo na yung homework mo na yun na ito yung advocacy ko, ito, ito akong tao to, like, I need to figure myself out, ito yung mga hindi ko pa na-figure out because sometimes sharing your insecurities on social media is also very inspiring in itself and I would also consider that an advocacy. ba? Diba? Hindi naman kailangan sobrang, alam mo yun, nasa field ka. Sometimes it could be I, I actually, uh, I I remember yung mga post ni Elizabeth Clancy about her mm-hmm. skin. And oh, yeah, um, yeah. She uh-huh. had to change her lifestyle. Siyempre, skin mm-hmm. mo sobra insecurity mo rin nun. Parang you can't really 
um, face yourself and face other people. So, uh-uh. hindi siya super hard for advocacy, pero dahil genuinely pinagdaanan niya yun, and she encourages people to have a healthier lifestyle as well. And it gives recognition now there are people who are actually going through this. That's already like impactful for me. Let's see, hanggang ngayon naalala ko pa yun. <laughs> diba? diba? Hindi kasi, syempre beauty queen ka, tapos meron kang biglang skin issues. So parang maganda na it's out there. Kasi just like my interview with Pia, kahit na nandiyan sa inyo lahat, the dermas, the gyms, kung hindi ka magpupursige para ayusin mo yung sarili mo kahit na nandiyan lahat ng resources, wala rin naman mangyayari sa'yo. So yung kay Clancy noon, magandang idea rin naman na parang it's a little part of her life pero as a beauty queen, we're all like Yeah, kasi di ba may mga tao din naman na iniisip na siguro hindi yan pinagdaanan ng... Pinagdaanan, oo. Oh, oh, oh. Di ba? Parang feeling oh. nila we're born perfect, but we're mm-hmm. far from it. Di ba? Ang dami diba, na natin. Diba, talaga. Eh. and everything. So, yeah, sharing that part of you also uh, is good on social media. Yeah. So, pretty much yun lang naman. Yung tips ko for social media. Make sure, sure. Para decide na talaga on your personal branding. Kasi kung hindi, mapapadala ka lang talaga sa mga TikTok, di ba? Para kung What ano about yung ano? Post, no? What about being like super sexy? Um, because a lot of you are models. So a lot of you also get to model. Um, hindi lang naman iisang klase ng aesthetic sa isang designer. Some of yeah. you may get to model for like swimwear. How do you balance also being sexy and how do you balance also posting the joas, the love life? Um, this is something that makes you pretty. Wait, iba yung sexy sa love life though. <laughs> Let's. Yun nga. I mean, how do you? Ay ano yung pwede nice mong i? Oh, dun mo tayo sa sexy mo na tayo. Oh, medyo sexy. Oh, oh. Bakit sa wala? Personally, I'm not the ma post na sexy. Ah ah. Pero meron. Meron naman. Pero Uh-oh. hindi yung... Hindi ako mag- Ooh, mag- uh, mag- uh, ganun. Okay. Oo. Uh-uh. Yeah. So, parang ako ka... Check your intentions. Yun na okay. lang siguro. Like, check your intentions. Like, ako pinopost ko kasi feeling ko pinagsakarapisyo ko talaga yung pag-diet and workout. Alam mo yun? Uh, yung nakontrol ko sarili ko. Tukut ka nun eh. Three times a day. Huwag na. Nakaya ko gawin. Uh, by the way, at magsinigang uh, with three cups of rice. Oh my like, gosh! I just uh, oh. let myself go like that. Pero at some point, I held myself back and hindi ko ginawa yon. So proud. Yung mga small milestones ay ganon proud ako. And uh, sure, kung preparing for a beach trip, de ba? Todo gym ka mo na So yun yung intention ko to don. Pero I respect also kasi yung mga like for example si Kylie. Diba, super sexy, sexy pose, ganon. Pero kasi, para ang sexy. At alam mong nakikita mo nag-workout siya. So, siya ang kawakan in a non-pervy matter. You always say that. So, hindi na ako siya shock. <laughs> Yun na nga, parang, sa pa ang kawakan? Parang, you're so soft. Yeah. When you boiled oh. in milk. And classy pa rin siya. Alam mo yun? So, parang, why would you hold that against the girl din naman? So, It's really sarili-sariling discard eh. Pero syempre, there's such a thing pa rin as overboard. Okay. Especially ah, if, siguro, si Kylie naman kasi, for example lang, just to use it as an example, no? kasi, una, as ako sinabi, sexy na beauty queen for me, Kylie, it's where, uh, we all wish we had her body. <laughs> And oh, like, flexibility, man. by the way. Oo, oh, oh, kasi <laughs> nag-pilates din. Mm-mm. Tapos, uh, nung time naman namin, hindi, parang within Binibini standards pa rin siya, within Miss International standards. So, feeling ko, mas strict talaga if you're still competing or you're still reigning and then you have posts like that. Ah, uh, okay. Kasi you are still, uh, uh. you still have a job. Okay, you're okay, still okay. in that job. Mm-hmm. Yes. But true, after true, true. that, like, anything goes na rin. At yun din, yun din yung, uh, oo, yun din yung pinupush ano ko eh. Parang ano ba sa kanya? Yun, yun na nga. Hindi, eh, tsaka masarap sagutin yung mga tipong, wait, may corona ka na ba? Kasi siya meron eh. Ah, uh, okay. 
Mm, yung sa mga comments ng mga medyo pasaway, what about yung jowa? Yung mga medyo laban na laban sa mga jowa nila? Kailangan ba medyo mag-pullback din sila ng very slight? Or... Guys, ang controversial ng question sa akin ni Lavinia, pero I'm gonna yes, answer ko. it in this video oh, oh. just because it's her vlog and she's actually soliciting answers from me. Yes. And yes. I am in no way saying what's right or wrong. I'm not God. I'm not the Bible. You're just Nicole Cordovez. Huh? You're just Nicole Cordovez. Yes. And, pero I hope na yung inputs ko will help uh, other girls decide then. Because sometimes yes. maybe they're uh-huh. just pressured to put something up, to post something, diba? Or maybe they just didn't know what to post. They didn't know it's wrong. I don't want to crucify them immediately. Maybe it's just misdirected. Maybe they didn't think it would have that much of an impact. Im- impact. Uh, uh, tama, tama. Especially uh-huh. since hindi tayo pare-pareho ng kinal- kinalaki ng pamilya. Like, even the level of conservativity sa family ko iba sa... Iba. Iba, hindi na talaga pinalalabas uh, sa bahay. Diba? So, ako yun, we can't... Ano, we can't... <laughs> hindi natin pwedeng ilagay sa isang kumot lang lahat. Diba? Uh-uh. Alam mo yun, para masyadong dinidiktahan. Oo, oo. At least, ano naman siya. Ka, kasi nag-apply ka to be a binibini. You apply to be part of an organization. So, it's more of that. Pero, if you're not, ano, who, who can tell you whatever? <laughs> diba? Baka parents mo lang pwede magsabi sa'yo yan. Pero, kami out. Baka naman, oh, baka naman yung parents din okay lang din. Tapos tayo lang yung medyo mas conservative pagdating. Which is understandable kasi binibini, um, they, as a binibini, kailangan mo i-project yung values mo sa Pilipina. Alam mo, so, sobrang true like yan. Oo. Oh, oh. Sobrang true. Kasi nung nakausap ko si I mean, Tia, kailan lang, yun din na yeah. sinabi niya. Yung pagka-Pilipina, yung talagang brand ng binibini. Mm-mm. Although the, so, the term Pilipina has uh, evolved na rin. But there are still, like I've been emphasizing kanina, traditions that we would like to keep. Uh-uh. uh-uh. We don't and, totally uh-uh. eradicate the definition. Hindi totally erase. Tsaka, hindi, uh-uh. Tsaka hindi naman siya sobrang Pilipinang, I don't know, hindi naman sobrang makaluma. But what I, gets uh-uh. na dapat ng mga tao yan eh. But, Just the effort in... to be delicadesa. Uh-uh. Tsaka tal- yun, gusto ko yung subtle, yung... Yung may hints lang, Jones. Yung may dyan, pero... Pero <laughs> yun nga, eh. Hindi mo rin sinasadyang maging hint. Alam mo yun? Oo. Kasi syempre, di ba, may umay factor din naman tayo kapag it's too much of this or too much of that. Di ba, parang kaumay ka na, girl, ha? Yun, yun lang naman. <laughs> Pero ang gusto ko rin naman kasi, um, so mag-transition na tayo dito sa MGI. Kasi alam naman natin na ang MGI is, woohoo! Kailangan ng shot ng vodka dyan. Shots. Shots lang. Ah, wow. <laughs> Pero na-mention kasi ni Pia na parang mas nahirapan siyang mag-compete sa Binibining Pilipinas. Kasi sa Binibining Pilipinas, unang-una, sobrang ang competitive na niya to begin with. Tapos another mm-hmm. thing is that, syempre yung... Um, yung personality mo sa binibining Pilipinas, katulad na na-mention mo kanina, parang nangingibabo yung Filipina values, yung medyo may pagka-conservative, medyo mas feminine, and then medyo nahirapan daw siya kasi syempre pagdating na sa pageant niya na Miss Universe, kailangan magbago na siya ng personality, kailangan i-fit niya ngayon sa profile ng pageant na sasalihan niya without losing herself. Now, tricky yung sayo. Kasi ang mapunta sayo, Miss Grand International. And alam naman natin na ang Miss Grand International ay very woo-ha. Ano yeah. nangyari? Did you do your research nung nanalo ka ng Miss Grand International Philippines? Yes. Definitely. Definitely. And talagang hampas hampas hips level talaga yung nakita namin doon di ba na trend mm-hmm. parang we know that it's a uh, no trump era miss universe yung bet nilang ipeg ganon ganon yung impression and mgi really has a certain mold for their queens talaga yes din napansin ko gusto nila super statuesque super sexy uh, big hair Now what loves it na lion hair talaga like really big curls that's his favorite and I also found out that he likes the over the shoulder na 
yung ganong move, pagkarampa, he likes it apparently. Ayun, tapos, kailangan magaling ka rin sumayaw, hindi ako magaling sumayaw. Yun pa pala, kamusta ka sa sayaw? Diba? <laughs> Kung nanalo ako doon, paano ako mag-opening dance number sa next time? ka dyan, time? medyo kinabahan ako para sa'yo. Na lang, para hosting na lang ako. Char! Kinabahan ako, sabi ko, paano ako manalo to si Nicole? Hindi pa tumbling-tumbling to doon. Just go. Uy, grabe ah. Oh. Um, ginawa ko noon, hindi ako marunong sumayaw at all, guys. It's so bad talaga. So, ginawa ko pagka sa rehearsals, I really sucked nung first two rehearsals. I practiced it in my room. Kasi sakto ang laki-laki ng mirror namin. Yung sa loob, CR, pero yung mirror and pang makeup and lababo, nandun sa labas. So, parang sobrang perfect niya. Perfect talaga. Tapos, dun ako nag-practice. Ayun, sa'yo akong ganun. Tapos, si Milande, ganun. Parang, parang i-practice ko na, i-practice para memorize ko na, para mas confident na ako sa next. Kasi alam ko, that's how I learn it. That's how I have to learn it. And then, nung third na rehearsals namin, kasi grabe yung Miss Granda, parang first, seco- second day pa lang namin, the day after sign-ups, rehearsals agad. Ah, okay. Oo, sa gabi. Tapos, tapos kami mga 10 ata. Ganun. Tapos, um, uh, nung third day, tinawag na Philippines, come in front. So, linipat ako from the back to the front. Oh! Pero dinaan ko lang, hindi ako gumaling sa sayaw, guys. Mami, hindi. Pero, I look like, yung goal ko noon was, alam ko, attainable, na I look like I know what I'm doing. And, ako, kailangan natin ng footage siya. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hahanapin kay footage siya. Dinaan ko sa energy, facial expression, yung gano'n na lang. Kung ano yung kinulang mo, punuin mo na lang ng ibang aspeto. So, <laughs> yun ginawa ko. And then, voila. Front na ako. O, oh, ba? Ano yun? Nakaboost ba yan ng... Kasi ba alam naman natin na may peg sila. Pero, sa Philippines kasi, even, af- well, actually, after mo, but sa Philippines kasi, parang hindi natin magamay ano ba talaga yung gusto nila noon hindi natin alam kung um, ano yung feeling mo noon did you feel na parang medyo weight out of my league to in terms of yung the glamazon look or parang na feel mo na parang no we can do something about this i can fake being a glamazon for this pageant i felt the latter really i talaga fun yeah parang maganda ng mind for the challenge Oo, magandang huh? mindset. Magandang mindset yun. Yeah. Kasi di ba, sinasabi nila, proportions ng mga Pilipina or ng Asians, hindi naman kasing laban na laban, katulad ng mga Latina. So, maganda na at least yung challenge na yun, tinake mo. Like, hindi ka pumunta doon na parang shit, parang hindi yata, hindi yata ko uubra You don't have time to self-deprecate uh-uh. once you're competing there. Like the moment you land there, you don't have time for doubts. Nothing. But it's really just, you know, yon. Papa na lunin ka to, ganda na lang siya. Pero na nandun ka, sino yung striking sa yon? Sino yung para feeling mo, oh, shoot ang ganda nito, ang sexy nito. Para ang hirap ka na balik. Pero, Pero ang bait pa niya, ang bait bait pa niya. Na kainis no, kapag yung mga taong mababait na nga, ang ganda pa, ang sexy pa, parang. Why? As in, super bait niya. I'm so lucky na she's my roommate that time. Tapos, di ba, nag-compete siya sa Bashi Maxine for Miss Universe. Mm, mm, nandito pa siya. Nakakatuwa. Yeah. Sino pa ba? Si Madison! Talaga? Striking si Mad. Why? Because yung pagka-blonde ba niya na parang, well, may, may term to me siya. so good on stage. Uh, like, okay. she looks so different on stage. And Man. her personality is so amazing talaga. And that's something you can't learn. And there are a lot of pretty girls who... Oh my gosh! And guys... <laughs> there are a lot of girls that from the beginning, they're so sip-sip with the organizers. Mm-hmm. They have this facade of a good attitude. And they would really position themselves as a front runner. But as the days go by, and habang e, puro rehearsal pa kami nun, di ba? Ay, pagoda! Merong mga uma-attitude na! As in, as in, Ganun yata like, talaga eh. Namin, my choreo was like, I will cut you! I will cut you from the dance! <laughs> so, what else? <laughs> talaga may, may threats! <laughs> oh, oh, I will cut you off from the dance! Ganon! So, that's when I realized, at that moment, nung no, may mga pinapagalitan na girl, sabi ko, 
pageants are a test of endurance. Endurance no? ng character. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ng character mo. Kasi uh-huh. you'll be really tired. You psychologically and physically, you'll be hungry uh-huh. all the time because you know you're doing a lot of things and you just can't uh-huh. keep up. Diba? Pero we had to face there all the time. Ah, so, okay, naro mo na na ginutom kayo doon. Kasi may ganong cheese miss. Hindi naman kayo ginutom. Ah, hindi naman. Buffet kami, buffet kami every morning and afternoon din actually. Sobrang sarap. Uh, may times lang na siguro Thai salad yung isa-serve. Uh-uh. They would order Thai food na take out for all of us girls. And I don't mind because I feel like I ate so much already that you wouldn't want to eat more. So, so nice that you cleared that out. out. Kasi di ba parang before may chase miss na parang ginugutom kayo doon. I think it was my my Snapchat. Because I was like, <laughs> Ew, okay, Snapchat. We're, just, <laughs> we're waiting to eat. And then Ariska goes behind me and she's like, yeah, we're so hungry. Uh, <laughs> so parang so, uh, misinterpret. Uh, and uh, actually, nakaka, yung only, I, I was never stressed in uh, any pageant. Yung nakaka-stress lang are the mga fans online. Uh-huh. Because, for example, that <laughs> out of proportion, <laughs> and you don't know yeah. what to do about it. Like, uh-huh. would you clear that up? Or, di ba? And then, you kind of weird to bring it up, no? Yeah, it was so weird to bring up na, no, they are not starving us here. So, <laughs> so parang, okay, papatulan pa ba to? Or do I just let it be? Kung nagsalita naman ako, it might make it more official. Mas, baka hindi pa nasagap na organizers is ako pa yung makapag-bring na attention. Na una, oo. Oh, oh, oh. So, it's more of, I was doing a lot of damage control that time. Oh. Hindi lang yon may second pa na may issue. Kasi that was the time, no, there was a day during the pageant when the king of Thailand died. Yes. And then there was an issue, I forgot what it was, but it was painting some girls, including me, I think, in a bad light. Ah, baka masyado so, kayo masaya. <laughs> hindi rin eh. Hindi rin talaga. Kasi the mood really, you will feel that it was really down. Oh, like, kasi syempre Thai organization enjoy. yan eh. Uh-huh. Tama, really? Tama. And they really love their king. Yes. So, I'm not an emotional person, but I do observe. Like, I, I that's when I learned more. I so Ganon. Pero hindi ako like emotional talaga na I would cry with you. Kasi siguro, pagka sa pageants kasi, medyo masasway ka siguro na should I be emotional as well? <laughs> Alam mo yun? <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, tama. You really wanna please people eh. Pero, wala, ano, to each his own. And yeah, tapos ano pa ba yung mga issue noon? Ah, merong Filipino noon na may Pinoy fan na nag-record, nakalusot kasi sa balcony, nag-record, mm. nag-record yung rehearsal, eh yung, re- yung music doon, copyrighted. Tapos, oh, oh. sa secret group nila. Okay. Pero, may member doon sa secret, na siguro kasi, in the understanding na, oh, this is a secret group. So, mm-hmm. this is for our eyes only. But someone, napasaway ata doon, sa group na yon shared it, and it spread. So, parang, may pagbabanta na, lagot yung, si girly pagka kung kanino man sa kanino ng ano siya oh na ako kinakabahan na kasi <laughs> ako yung one of the girls na madaming panis talaga na physically nandoon because it was Las Vegas so kinakabahan na ako actually alam ko na ako na yon yon test dun dun lang ako kinabahan na hala baka hindi na ako ipasok sa top 10 so ah, it's more of those for controls na guys uh-huh. siguro be more mindful about that to the pageant fans. I know that we can get really passionate about um, yeah. us. <laughs> but uh, there will be, a, I won't even call the other ones pageant fans because they're really just haters. So they would just make issues oh. about girls from other countries. And then, Shempre and Fans Latin will defend us. And then it just becomes this whole monster. So, so be mindful also that that could actually happen. So, I think people just don't realize how it affects us because we don't really talk about it. And we don't want you to feel bad about it. But yun lang yung times na na-stress ako nung nagka-issues na ganun. 
Well, alam naman natin yung issue um, pagdating sa mga fans, katulad ng fans ng Philippines and fans ng Indonesia. In fact, tayo no, dalawa. No, <laughs> Tayong dalawa eh, medyo suking-suki na doon. Um, kota, girl. Kota. Sobrang kota-kota tayong dalawa. Just to clear it out though, kailangan ba na ang isang kandidata, katulad ng sa atin at katulad ng mga um, malalakas na mga countries pagdating sa social media, Kailangan ba yung kandidata mas proactive in reminding their fans to, you know, slow down? Kasi one of the things na kinakasama ng loob ng mga nag-aaway-aaway is that this queen isn't doing anything to, um, you know, make things peaceful. This queen isn't saying mm-hmm. anything. Should queens actually say anything? Something? It depends. Okay. It depends. Yeah. Like, gano? Gano ka crazy for them to say something? No, hindi na. kasi naisip ko, the only reason why I don't retaliate is because parang it's like acknowledging that it's there. Mm-hmm. Paano ba? Parang parang what if the queen doesn't want to be associated with that certain page as well? Okay. For example, for example, they have a basher page who bash other queens. So, our fans... Si Lambe ba to? Just... What? <laughs> si Lambe? Huh? Actually, yan iniisip ko. Cut mo na lang yan. Ah, be! Paano natin, Chos? Grabe ka. Hindi, pero yun nga eh. Kasi parang what if the queen doesn't want to be associated with this person? Ano mo yun? Ah, ah. Yun din yung sinabi ko. Yung mahirap din na lurker ka doon. Kasi malalaman na sumisilip at sumisilip ka. So, would it be better kung uh, i-disciplina ng mga reyna is yung kababayan nila or papaalalahanan? Mas magandang avenue ba yun? I don't know eh. I don't know talaga. Kasi feeling ko, it's always a lose-lose situation. Did you think I would never consider, you know, apologizing and stuff? Diba? Parang eh, ayoko na mga nag apologize Ha? Ha? Or ipasa na lang sa mga admins yung dirty job mo. <laughs> no, that's so... Walang dignidad. Pasa niya lang sa mga admins na makikipaglaban sa inyo. Hindi, it depends on the issue. Kasi for example, there are issues that are too petty 